It would be our pleasure to introduce Sri T. B. Jai Chandra before we invite him for the inaugural address. Honorable Minister for Law, Justice, Human Rights, Parliamentary Affairs and Legislation in, with Government of Karnataka. He is a science graduate of the BSc and an advocate with LLB. He has represented Karnataka Legislative Assembly five times from a uh, same constituency called Kalambala and currently it's called Shira constituency in Thumku district where the pomegranate is uh, kicking up so very well people, farmers are so happy with it. He was cabinet minister for agriculture and uh, district in charge minister of Thumku district in 1999-2002. He was special representative of Karnataka New Delhi for, uh, in the year 2002-2003. Cabinet Minister of Food and Civil Supplies and District in Charge Minister of Mandya uh, between 2003 and 4. He was Deputy Leader of the Opposition to the Karnataka Assembly between 1994-99 and uh, from 2008 till date he was. He has worked in various capacities in the party organization at Taluk District, State level and Vice President of KPYCC. Member All India Congress Committee between 96-2000 and 2005 till date. Member KPCC Election Management and Coordination Committee headed by Sri H.M. Krishna for 2008 General Election to Legislative Assembly. Permanent invitee for KPCC Executive Committee, member of the Strategy Committee for 1999 General Election, Vice President KPYCC. Sri T.B. Jaitendra is known as a very soft-spoken gentleman in his constituency, also in the Assembly. Welcome Sri T.B. Jaitendra for the inaugural address. Sir. Elar Gunamskara. I'm really happy to be in the midst of uh, the galaxy of uh, technocrats, engineers who have come all the way from the whole country and uh, till morning I was doubtful whether I could come to this program or not. There was some problem and a breach of uh, some canal in uh, Hassan district. Of course, that is uh, the canal was built by our own engineers only, about 35 years. I had to go there yesterday. When I went there, it was late and I wanted to halt there. Somehow, my conscience did not permit to stay there. In the midnight, I came and I am attending this program. I thought that uh, other ministers would uh, come for this program. I know for the programs like this, many of the ministers may not come. <laughs> Without the king, so I am here with you. Sri Uday Krishna is a chairman of the Indian Institute of uh, Engineers. Dr. Sri Sudhakar Pai, the President of All India Manufacturers Association, Lieutenant General Dr. Vijay Sundaram, is an advisor for micro and nano systems, National Design and Research Forums, IEA Bangalore, respected uh, Padma Shri Professor R.M. Vasagan, the Chairman Aerospace Engineering Division Board, the Institute of Engineers in India, and Dr. Murli Krishnareddy, and uh, Dr. Nanjunda Palkanda, and uh, other distinguished uh, delegates and the dayas, and uh, delegates from all over the country, the press man, the ladies and gentlemen. I feel privileged to inaugurate the Indian Technology Congress, the flagship event organized by many like-minded professional bodies. It is heartening to see stalwarts from academia, research and development and industry coming together to share a common platform for discussing and exchanging their ideas about multitude technology disciplines. Technological innovation resulting from constant research and development is an indicator of the country's growth. 
in terms of intellectual capital, the preparation for the future, competitive advantage and so on. Such collective knowledge gives us an edge over the other countries and the economies that have a dearth of opportunities to collaborate and discuss technology topics and trends in forum, such as ITC. I am happy to see the format of the ITC and impressed with the organization, thoughts and commitments. The keynote address, the panel discussion, workshop, technical paper presentation and more importantly, networking opportunities are tremendous. They show the quality and degree of learning and knowledge sharing that is envisaged by ITC. In today's competitive world, India needs to keep pace with the emerging trends and technologies and determine how we face the challenges and issues concerning the development of our nation. I think that the theme of the Indian Technology Congress towards making India hub of knowledge and innovation is an apt. I am one of those who believes that technology is making a positive change to the humanity. I am sure majority here in this gathering are with me then when I say this. While world is a fast changing, technology is the biggest contributor to this phenomenon of change we are made to live with. Everything is changing. The way we learn, the food we eat, the way we commute, the way we communication, the dress we wear, the content we consume, news or information. It is important to our lifestyles. While changing things around us, it also helps us to keep pace with change that makes it uh, the creator and the sustainer. We have enough examples of the applications of technology in destruction destruction. In short, we are seeing the technology as the trinity today. Amount of energy we consume today has increased exponentially as well as we need energy to sleep, to bath, to eat, to commute, to connect, to communicate, to work, to learn, to play and everything. As urbanization is the only increasing, we have to generate more energy from nature like sun, wind and water and also use it for more efficiently. We have to treat the energy in the same manner as money and we have to get better in the way we use it by, redu by reducing the misuse of energy. Technology has also taken lead in ensuring a better efficiency in instant while technologies have also to focus in bringing technologies which consumes less energy. Nanotechnology needs a more attention. Healthcare is another area which is fast improving. We still have challenges of reaching the technological advancement in the healthcare to everyone in the state. I believe this opens up a greater opportunity for our technologies and entrepreneurs to collaborate to ensure delivery of most of advanced developments in healthcare to be made available across the country. I am given to understand that this is one of the agendas of Indian Technology Congress and I sincerely hope all of you will work towards this. As you know, as an engineer, as a technologist, you have a certain obligation to the public, their clients, employers and to the profession. Many engineering societies such as Institution Engineers India and IET put have in place the course of practice and ethics to guide members and inform the public at large. At this huge congregation of technology professionals, I urge each one of you to uphold the code of ethics and practice that your institutions advocate. Necessity is mother of all inventions, he is saying that is not unheard of. Since the advent of humankind, man has found a constant need to invent, discover new things in order to satisfy the requirements. When colleges and universities started, several technical courses in India, they probably did not have the finest clue that they would grow to the present stature and demand so quickly. 
several factors have led a role to play in this evolution including the collaboration between academia and the industry the demands in this industry necessitates an overall technical education system in india the metamorphosis was natural what used to be the small set of disciplines now offers a variety of disciplines and options in the area of engineering when technology is growing at a breakneck speed it is important that we recognize the changes new trends and developments and all we can do keep peace with them events like facilitate such professional development and provide ample opportunity for the professionals and students finally i would like to wish you successful indian technology congress and also i take this opportunity wish you all the best i am happy that you have all you have enjoyed the hospitality of bangalore the one important thing in bangalore is i think you have enjoyed the the climate and you will not find this climate in anywhere any part of the country in india because the, our minimum temperature is 18 maximum is 34 and for the last so many months many have not seen the sun at all this is the beauty of bangalore this is a place where most of the technologists and collaborators from all over the india and the world are here it is a, it's about 10 years it was about 15 years back i was also an agriculture minister and uh, sm krishna was the chief minister we supported the maximum we brought out the policy on information technology and biotechnology also today bangalore is hub of information technology in the whole southeast asia not only that there are about more than 850 multinational companies are there in in bangalore they have their establishments and uh, of course total amount of uh, employment creation out of these multinational companies is more than 10.5 lakh indirect appointment is of course another 10 lakhs you see the change in 10 years it is all because of the technocrats human resource and they are the product of our engineering colleges in bangalore and in karnataka that is one aspect another in a biotechnology we have brought out a policy about 10 years back and when we brought a policy we were nowhere in the in the in the global scenario now we are the number one in the world i think after san francisco because it is the technologists they are here they have settled here i once again i welcome you all come to bangalore and settle here have a peaceful living you have good access to the education and lot can be done in bangalore not only the weather you have many national and international institutions in bangalore and uh, not only that all most of the technocrats is from bangalore if you go to other countries like america or any other country you will see a more technical people technocrats from bangalore or india in other countries people talk the nation looks at us now they are thinking they are expecting that 21st century is the century of indians and chinese it's because of the human resource 
it is because of the educated youngsters in india in india and china and we have, we can achieve this and uh, this century is, is, will be ours only with the support of technocrats like you from the country again i wish you all all the best and uh, you enjoy the uh, hospitality of bangalore stay in bangalore come to bangalore invest in bangalore settle in bangalore thank you thank you sir thanks for the great invitation welcome a lot can happen in bangalore for everybody so once again repeating uh, mr db jayachandra's uh, invitation please come to bangalore please do settle in bangalore a lot can happen in bangalore thank you very much